The relationship between the ocean and a wave is a metaphor constantly used in Eastern philosophy and spirituality. What does this metaphor have to do with the true nature of our being? In the higher teachings of Advaita Vedanta, the ocean and wave metaphor is constantly used. And we find this especially in the Ashtavaka Gita. Now the Ashtavaka Gita is known as a Nididhyasana text, a text for those on the cusp of enlightenment or those who have gone beyond the pale of enlightenment. And in the Ashtavaka Gita, there are a few verses about the ocean and the wave metaphor within the Advaita Vedanta tradition. And today I want to read to you a very important verse about the ocean and wave which relates to the nature of our true being. In me, the limitless ocean, let the wave of the world rise or vanish of itself. I neither increase nor decrease thereby. Now in this verse, Lord Dattatreya is referring to himself as the ultimate reality of Brahman, the ultimate reality of existence, which is identical with the undifferentiated consciousness within all of us, which is Atman. So in this one, the limitless ocean is the Brahman or the Atman within us, which is Brahman. And so the wave uh, he is explaining is something that comes out of the ocean but it has not been added or it has not increased the nature of the ocean or the, the substance of water a form has just been added to the ocean it's not something that is permanent not something that is lasting but it is just the transformation of the ocean into a wave but the wave is always the ocean as Dr. Treyer is alluding to in this verse. And so what this verse is really saying is the wave is a metaphor for the world, right? The world of name and form. We have this world of labels, of duality in air quotes, where we dissect the world up into this and that according to our conditioning, according to our subjective viewpoint. And this is what Maya is, right? The illusion of measurement. So we're cutting the world up into this and that because we believe that the wave is reality itself. But the true reality is the ocean. And so the wave's nature, its reality, is really the ocean. But we believe that this is the real world. We believe the name and form is the world. But it is not the reality. The reality actually is Brahman. And so this is like the snake and rope analogy, right? Where we believe that the rope is a snake because of our own subjective viewpoint of the rope. We believe that it's a snake. And so then we act according to our fear of it being a snake. And this is what the jiva is, right? The persona ego system. It superimposes its own conditioning onto the world, onto the rope, and we believe it's a snake and we judge the world accordingly. And this is exactly what the wave and the ocean analogy is. We believe that the nature of the world is the wave or the snake. And so we live in fear, we live in duality, but the true nature of the world is the rope or the ocean. And it's all Brahman. It's all Brahman. Your Atman is identical with that. And we forget that because we are being trained to only see the wave. But what happens to a wave? A wave eventually disappears. And so when the wave disappears, what happens to the world if we were to use it as an analogy for the world? The world disappears because all that ever existed was the Atman, which is identical with Brahman. That's all that ever existed. The true one undifferentiated pure consciousness that we all are, that's all that exists. That's the foundation of all being. It is imminent within reality and also transcends it. And so we forget that because we are trained to see the wave. But once we realize that the wave eventually vanishes and disappears, then we understand that the world is true. Brahman, that reality is truly Brahman. And so for us on the path, for us sincere aspirants on the path, it's about coming back into alignment with that understanding, coming back into that actual true perception that oneness is the ultimate reality. When we start to see reality as oneness, then we fundamentally know that each and every wave on the ocean is the ocean it is 
itself. So when we look out into a world that we believe is dual, we will start to feel and actually sense the true nature of this reality that we live in is actually and fundamentally the oneness of the ultimate Brahman. Shanti, shanti, shanti.